Hello and welcome to Microwave Me, the low-budget microwave show where I microwave the same stuff anyone else can. Well, except for all the things that blew up, caught fire, sparked, basically anything after season one's off limits. But anyways, that aside, uh, this show is, as always, filmed in high definition with my state-of-the-art digital camcorder. Today, I'm going to be microwaving Silly Putty. Yep, that's right. Good old Silly Putty is going to be the experiment today. And to really test what it does in a microwave, I'm going to be doing not just one, but two. One in the container, one out of the container. And I'm going to be doing it in Jenny, the GE Dual Wave Microwave. The first microwave ever used on my show, and also my home microwave. All right, now the silly putty's ready to be put into the microwave, like so. And how long should I put it in for? I'm thinking two minutes. Now to turn off the lights for dramatic effect. Okay, that's a wrap. And now to examine the post product. Hmm. Seems kind of warm. A little softer. A little gummier. A little easier to stretch and do all the silly taffy things you want to do with it. the stuff in the container it's like same thing so I'm gonna have to say microwaving silly putty is indeed safe it just warmed the stuff up a little made it a little more stretchy 
I would say this is definitely a good idea to try at home. There is no consequences, nothing blew up, nothing caught fire, no mess, no smell. Just good, warm, stretchier, gooier, silly putty fun. So not only is this safe to do at home, but I would say it's even safe for a child to do at home. Just don't do any more than a couple minutes.